Okay, okay folks, welcome back. We're looking at test 12, non-verb breathing, 10 to 11. By myself, Mr. Manikpal, one to one tutor. I'm here with my students. Give them ready for the 11 plus, inshallah. Right, question number one. Work out which option would look like the figure on the left if it was reflected over the line. So picking up the keywords, reflected and the line. So here's the line, I can call this normally a mirror line. So the shape's gonna go from here to there. Okay, it's gonna reflect means when you flip it over. Okay, you're not moving it across, sliding it, that's called translation. So let's have a look which one is gonna be. So we have, first of all, so get a nice color. We have our S going towards the left. So in our answer, the S needs to be going to the right. For example, like that. And like this and that. So this one is definitely wrong. We have a black one on the top. We need to have a black one on the top. So this one is definitely wrong. Two wrong straight away. Okay. Now, if you look at the line, if I rub this line out, our line, original line here, is dotted. So we can't have a solid line. So even though everything's right, that's not good. It has to be B, let me rub it out and show you. Dotted, dotted, okay? That's dotted. This is dotted. This is solid. Okay, lovely, next question, question number two. Reflect. So number two, we have to reflect that uh, the star. Remember, close to the our mirror line here, uh, we have the two arms of the star above the white line. So they're going to be two arms on this side, also above the the black line behind it. So that's no good. Those two are going behind. That's no good. So C looks good here, but our star has got five arms, and this one's got six. So that's no good. It has to absolutely be D. So we've got our line behind, we've got our two lines on top close to the mirror, and this one be, goes behind the line, behind the line, done. Fantastic. Question number three. So we're reflecting this shape, now look at the key feature here, we've got this black bar which I'm coloring in brown on top. So it can't go behind, and it can't be white. So cross off straight away the wrong answers. So we need a black bar going across the shape in the other diagonal, because this one's going this way, and the one answer will be going that way, because there's a mirror in between. So, so this looks good, this looks good. Let's have a look, what else is there? So we have a, okay, we have the, we have the diagonals here, or the shading going like this. So it needs to be going slightly, going angle going up. So we know that B has got these lines in the wrong direction. So B is wrong. That leaves C. Look, that's right. So in the question is like this, and then the answer is like that, matches. Fantastic. Question number four. Reflection. Okay, this looks like a really small crown. We have two whites and another white here in this kind of orientation. So in the answer, they will be in that orientation. So for question number four, uh, A looks good, but the hat of the crown is not deep enough. No good. B is looks no good because there's a black in here. No good. There's another black on this side. That's no good. The black needs to be on the bottom. This is on the bottom. And we got our pattern there. Lovely. D and the crown is the right size. Done. Question number five, reflect. So let's have a look at the general shape. General shape is this way. So if it's this way in the question, in the answer, it will be going the other way in the mirror. So we're looking for that direction. So let's have a look for something which is definitely wrong. Definitely wrong shape. So we need our shape. They're all in the right shape. We've got to match them up now. So let's get rid of this. And let's look at, analyze a bit more closely. So we have times and times and dotted. So this one is a times, this one's an add. No good. Okay, so we need times and times, that's good. Okay, we're gonna have a plus and a times behind it. 
a plus and a times behind it. A plus, but this one's dotted. No good. No good. Has to be B. So you eliminate them straight away. Good. Number five is done. Question number six. Yeah, I think the question number got a little bit chopped off there in the in the scanning. So I'll just write for you personally there. Question number six. Work out which of the options best fits in place of the missing square in the grid. So let's have a look what's happening. Let's zoom it up. Okay. So we have a five-sided shape. We have our five-sided shape, five-sided shape. We have another one, five one inside pointing down and another one inside pointing down and then one pointing up. So it's all about the same shape being reflected inside and then again inside. And each time it changes, it changes from gray to white, white to gray. So we're gonna have the same shape inside being reflected twice. So we got this, this shape here, the chevron shape, and then we're gonna reflect it inside to make it small and white. And then we reflect again, so it'll be facing upwards and being gray inside. So it's definitely not A, because everything is in the right same direction for number six. Now if I look at B, the white one's in the right direction, the white one should be pointing down, not pointing up, that's wrong straight away. If I look at D, this bit here should be all gray, that's white, that's wrong. If I look at E, there's only two shapes, should be three shapes, so that one's wrong. So that leaves us with C, gray one pointing up, white one pointing down. The next baby gray one pointing up, that's right, fantastic. You go from up to down to up, finish. Answer has to be C. Next one, number seven. Okay, let's have a look what the pattern is here. Okay, so we have our droplet facing up. Let me make my pencil a bit thinner. We have a droplet facing this way and facing this way. This one's facing this way, this way. So we're doing a rotation and we're doing it anti-clockwise. So we're going this way, this way. Then we need another rectangle. It has to be facing down. He has to be down rectangle. So that's wrong triangle. That's the wrong direction rectangle, wrong. Okay, what else is happening to the lines inside? So you've got another pattern now. So these ones are out of the ball game. So we have the line, it's at the top here, then it goes clockwise, then it, oh, so the lines are going around clockwise. So this one here, and the question is here in the top corner, then it goes to the, the corner below it, then it has to go to the other corner like this, so for that question, it has to be A, it has to be this way. So that one's wrong, that one's wrong. Next one, question number eight. So we have five, five arms of the star, four and three. This one, let's have a look. This one got three, this one, okay, we got five, we got six, and we got seven. Hmm. And we got here three, we got four and five, four, five, and six. Okay, so we're looking for a five-armed star. Question number eight, five-armed star, and we have one of each color. So we have white, gray, black, white, gray, and black. White, gray, and black. We need a black five-armed star. B is the answer straight away. We don't need to eliminate them. We worked it out. Question number nine. Let's have a look what's happening here. Okay, so we have our full size shape over here. And then we are cutting a bit off here. So we have this bit here, then this part here becomes flat. And then we're gonna have this becomes like a star over here. Okay, and with here we've got the same shape here, starting first. Then we have this shape here, which looks like a real, and then we have that shape. So we've got, this, we've got the three shapes rotating amongst themselves. So we're gonna have now, for this one here, this one's covered, and that one's covered. So we need that pointy one now. So we need, and the, this shape. Okay, a bit longer, a bit bigger. Let's have a look. We have gray white, gray, 
lines, lines, right. We have the lines in it. So for this one here, for question number nine, it's number nine. Yeah, that's number 10. Yeah, question number nine, which color are we gonna go for now? Okay. And we have the we have a rule for the bottom as well. This one, this one, and then the cross. This one and this one, then the crossover. So this one, and then it's gonna be that one which is gonna join to give you this one. Okay. So we do have the two of the same colors. Okay, each shape will okay. So each large shape only appears once in each one column. Each shading of the large shape. Gray hatch only pairs once in each column. Oh, okay. So we need another gray one then. We need another gray one here. And we need uh, the lines going like this in there. So for number nine, we're going to have that one done. Question number 10. Work out which option is most like the two figures on the left. So we're looking for the most the one that matches them the most. So for question number 10, so we have two connections. We have two items with a connecting rod in the middle. And the, so we got a white circle, black circle, white square, black square. So it's gotta be the same thing on both ends, but just a different color. These are not the same. That's no good. There's too many here. There's three of them, should be two. Uh, this one's different shapes. This one's same shape, but they got the same color. Should be different colors. So C is definitely the answer. Question number 11, so we've got four, four parts, four parts. We have two parts white, two parts shaded gray. Okay, so we're looking for question number 11, two white and two gray ones. That's no good, that's no good. And they gotta be, it's gotta be the same shape each time. And that's no good because they're not the same shape. And B, they're not the same shape either. It has to be the same identical shapes. So these are all identical, and there's two gray and two white. We'll have that one. Go. Number 12. We have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we started off with five squares, then we went to six squares for number 12. Okay, let's have a look what's else happening. So we got one, two, three. Three of them are lined. One of them is white. One of them is black. And the black ones are, are seem to be behind. So we're looking for the black ones which are behind. Okay, can you have the wrong one? Okay. So we go from a hatched one to a black one, to a hatched one, to a white one, back to a hatched one. So we got black hatches, white hatches, then black hatches. So we, we are alternating between a color and a hatched one. Hatched one means like this. Okay, so we got black, white, hatch. That's no good. We got hatch, black, white. No, it should be it should be hatch, black, hatch. No good. White, hatch, black. No, the pattern's not working. White, hatch, white. Pattern not working. So we have here a hatch, white, black, hatched. E is good. Thirteen. So we have this shape here, and then it looks like it's been turned around. Okay, what else has happened? Okay, let's see that. Question number 13, we must have a gray square in each one, a white triangle and a black circle. Okay, so, and they need to be all of them in the individual compartments. You can't have the shape changing the main outline and shape. Okay, and this one here, they've changed again. It can't be small inside. You've got to be looking here. Going smaller, smaller, bigger, bigger that. So it can't be like this. No good. Okay. So number 13, we got rid of those, those three answers. They're no good. And all the parallels in them. All that's good. All the shares must be in different sections. That's good. So we got here one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we got one space, we got two space. The triangle is white. Oh, the triangle here is not white. No good. White triangle, gray box. Yeah. 
and black circle. Done. Question number 14. So we have one main triangle and then we have three extra triangles. We have one main pentagon and we have five extra pentagons. Okay, so it looks like the extra pentagons is to do the number of sides of the original shape. So if you have a four sided shape, you must have four of those extra ones as well with it. So 14, we've got, we have a, a trapezium and we have four other trapeziums. So that will really match it straight away. So I'm really happy with A. Okay, this one's a six sided shape. There's only got five, no good. This one's a four sided shape. Okay, there are four of them. And that one's got three sided shape. That one doesn't match. Four, five, question number 14. Okay, and we have, must have one outside, which we do. So for question A, we have one, two, three overlapping and one on the side. And they've got to be all the same, but it's all the same orientation, no? That one's definitely wrong. Okay, so we're going to go for 14 is A. These are the now different views. Question number 15 is not number five. Oops. So question number 15. So if we look at the shape from the, uh, on the left, which is the top down view. So they want you to look from the top, that's called a plan view of question number 15. If you look from the top, you will get D. These two are together here. And then this one is the one which is in between that one and the last one. Good. Number 16. So we're going to have these two together. Then this one next to it. And these two on either side. Answers B straight away. Question number 17. So we're gonna have these two together, this one and this one together, these two together. So we're gonna have six of them to together in, in, in groups of two, B. Question number 18. These two are gonna be shown together and it looks like they've got another three in, in a line. So we're looking for two and a three. Okay, for question number 18, we're gonna have this one, this one, and this one appearing in one line. And then we have this one, this one, and this one appearing in the next line. So we can get 18 is A. Okay, folks, that's the end of that paper recap. We've just done the maths paper in the previous video. So we're gonna stop this video and have our break now. Let's stop the video.